Hello, it's the StyleCon coming at you today with another video. I'm chilling outside my usual location, the tobacco company in Lemoyne, smoking on a La Polina cigar. Sorry, I don't have the label on it. The label is almost the entire size of the cigar, so I had to bail on the label. But I have something very special beer wise. This is named after an old movie The Martians Kidnap Santa. I'm going to give this a try. It's supposed to be like an eggnog type beer. Alright. And I open it up with my new Camacho bottle opener that I got from the tobacco company. Now, let's get into today's topic of discussion. You say, Stalcon, what is today's topic of discussion? Today, it will be Chevis Regal mentality. What are you talking about? Scotch whiskey? No, 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 no. Let me give this a try. Give me a second. Actually, for the price, it's like $82 a case. This isn't tasting that great. Eh, maybe it might get better. But, uh, Chavez Regal mentality is basically... All because you pay more for something means it has to be better. And in life, that's not always the case. Needless to say, you know, like I said, I use a lot of car analogies. A Honda or Toyota may not be as luxurious as a BMW or a Mercedes. But needless to say, they're more reliable cars. So in that case... Chevel, Chevis Regal mentality works against you. Yes, it's more luxurious, no doubt, but it's less reliable, making the Honda or the Toyota better than the Mercedes or BMW. And with watches, people get into that mindset. I mean, I have watched so many videos where people are talking about certain brands, saying it's this and that. Give me a moment, I'm outside, obviously. Got some background noise. But you know, you hear people talking about watches. This is a crappy watch. That's a crappy watch. But first of all, it's Chevis Regal mentality. All depends on how you see it. Because with anything, I'll give you a quick story. Actually, this happened to me this week. I had a neighbor. Now, I like to repeat, it's a neighbor, not a friend. I don't know these people. They actually put a bike out on their lawn to be picked up by the trash people. I was like, well, okay, let me look at the bike. I like old style bikes and needless to say they didn't know what they had. This was an old Bridgestone bike and it's kind of rare. This bike sells, not asking, sells on eBay for a minimum of $500. They just threw $500 in the trash because they didn't check anything out. And with Chevis Regal mentality, that can come into play. People think, oh, Rolex, it's got to be better. There are better watches out there than a Rolex. Oh, this watch is crap, a Steinhardt. Like I said, I've watched enough videos. Some people say they're good. Some people say they're bad. But needless to say, they do have a falling. If you go to Steinhardt's website, which I've done plenty of times, a lot of times you will find models sold out. So needless to say, people like them. They're buying them. So I'm not going to knock you if you know if you have one and I never own one so how can I can say something is bad when I've never personally owned one to be able to talk about it. with anything in life you know you have an experience either good or bad and needless to say you go from there and don't get caught up in that Chevis Regal mentality and you know, my thing is, with all these different YouTubers out here, and the majority of them, I think, are cool. They seem like they're decent people. I don't know everyone. I've talked to a few of them. But just don't buy into that Chevis Regal mentality. I, I spent $8,000 for a Rolex. It's got to be better than that Christopher Ward for $2,000. That may not always be the case. Because Rolex, they do about, what's that, almost... 800,000 watches a year. Divide that 800,000 by 365 days. They pump out a lot of watches. That's like an assembly line at a Toyota 
or a Honda or a Mercedes plant. We're not talking Rolls Royce. Rolls Royce makes a minimum amount of cars a year. Rolex pumps numbers out. Steinhardt, I don't know about the numbers because they're not COSC certified, but needless to say, I don't think they're coming anywhere near those Rolex numbers or Omega numbers, you know, or even Breitling or Tissot. Tissot actually took over Breitling's number three spot on the Costco certification. So needless to say, with any of this information that I'm, I'm, I'm trying to explain right now, just remember, do your research. Not everything is better because you paid more money for it. This was $82 a case. Right now, I'm gonna be quite honest, I'd rather have my Miller Lite for $15 a case than this. So don't buy into uh, that mentality. And anybody out there that's a YouTuber, please don't feed people that garbage because that's what it is. First, you don't know someone's wallet. Don't make them feel bad because they may not be able to afford something. And even if they can afford it. You know, I'll give you a, another brief example. Right now, which I think is a great buy, is a Glashute Original uh, Sport Evolution. You can find those uh, used for about $3,500. They're around 8000 new. I would put that up against any Rolex Submariner or Sea Dweller any day, and yet you're going to pay less money and you are going to have a better watch. And on that note, this is StyleCon. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. If you like the content, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You can do it. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe, and I will check you out in the next video.